guys, welcome back to my channel Fun Learn with Anita and today I'm going to teach you about string functions. When you talk about string function, these include left, right, middle functions and these are basically a computer programming language to manipulate a string or acquire the information or in short extract data from the given information. Now what we have in front of us is output from a timesheet and you can see it is not segregated, it is it is in a simple information in a simple text form and what I want to do is take the information from here and segregate in a different columns. Now if I, if I start doing manually it will take me a lot of time. What I can do is finish this work in one minute just with the help of these functions. So let's get started. Now I can see the date is on the extreme left side of the information right. Day on the other hand is in the middle and time is on the extreme right. So how these function work is, first we're gonna to go to formulas, insert function and left. Because our date is on the left side, because our date is on the left side. So left, select, text. Where exactly our information is located, it is P2. And number of characters, it means from left side, how many characters do we need in our date? So total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight characters. So let's write eight and voila. You see, it's that simple. Instead of me copy pasting or me manually writing it, it I just have to put one function and it gives me. Now talk about day. Day is in the middle of the text. The similar way we will go formulas, insert function and write middle. Now, this has three parameters. These have three functional arguments. The first thing, first argument is where exactly is the text situated? B2. The second argument is what number does your, does your text actually comes? Like the text you want starts from which number? So we can see that date we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 for date. Then there is a then there is a space in between, right? So that will count as nine, dash is 10, then space 11, and Tuesday, the T of Tuesday is the 12th character. So this will be 12. And how many characters after 12 character includes your day? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, total seven. And here we can see a glimpse what we, we will get as a result and see, a simple the similar way we will do for write the time function that is on the extreme right so formulas insert function write and now there will be two functional arguments where exactly is the text situated it's in b2 now these when we talk about the number of characters here it is from the right side how many number of characters do you want to include? So we want to include since 9 o'clock. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 total characters. Our result will look some like, something like this. It literally segregates information for me in different columns. Now, let's practice this. Let's write. Instead of going formulas and insert function, let's manually write the formula. So equal to left. Text is P3 and number of characters is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Co do comment in the box and let me know if you're getting the desired results. Now let's go to the day. It's in the middle. So equals to mid bracket. The text is in B3, comma. The number of text is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, comma, the number of characters are WB1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wednesday. And same thing for right. 
but forgetting the time, right? Text is in V3. Number of characters would be from right one, two, three, four, four. And what I can do is just select these and double click. It will automatically populate data for me. So it actually makes your life simpler by segregating the data, which is in a, which is in a single text format and which is not segregated. So do let me know how you like this video and stay tuned for more.